So today I will tell you the dangerous side effects and all the details of this medicine. I am your pharmacist, Dr. Abdul Rafi. I am doctor of pharmacy. I have specialty in pharmacy. I am a drug expert and you are watching side effects channel. So let's start. Its brand name is Lalab and its generic active pharmaceutical ingredient is Lacosamide. It is a 50 mg tablet and its manufacturer is Genix Pharma. This medicine is used to treat epilepsy. It is an anti-epileptic drug and moreover it is also used to treat sciatica pain and other kind of pains. So it's a very good medicine. So now let's discuss its adverse drug reaction which are also known as side effects in common. So the first one is here which is the very very dangerous which is suicidal behavior and ideation. It is the forming of ideas of suicide and the behavior which is very dangerous. So it's very important for us to monitor that person who is using this anti-epileptic drug as it can cause suicidal thoughts which can lead to death. So we should be very careful for these kind of individuals. It can also cause dizziness and ataxia. Ataxia is the loss of coordination and movement. It can also cause cardiac rhythm and conduction abnormalities. It is the heart problems and syncom which is the decrease in blood pressure which is also very dangerous and it can lead to death. It can also cause drug reaction with eosinophilia, systemic symptoms which is the multi-organ hypersensitivity reaction. It uh, affects our organs. Very common side effects are here are dizziness, headache which is the pain in head, diplopia in which we see two objects, nausea which is the feeling of vomiting. Now these are the common side effects. It can cause depression and can also worse anxiety. It means that it can worse mental disorders, okay? And also confusional state, it can also cause insomnia, which is the loss of sleep, balance disorder, which is the disorder of the balance of our body, coordination, abnormal, memory impairment, it can impair our memory, cognitive disorder, somnolence, which is the increase of urge to sleep, tremor, nystagmus, nystagmus is the involuntary movement of eye which can't be controlled by us, hypostasia, which is the loss of sensation of our body, dysarthria, which is the uh, weakening of our tongue muscles and other kind of muscle which can lead to slurred speech. This can also cause disturbance in attention. Paresthesia which is the pinching sensation and in the body. It can also cause blur vision, vertigo, tinnitus which is, which is the ringing in the ear, vomiting, constipation, flatulence which is the gas production, dyspepsia which is caused due to the indigestion and cause abdominal pain, dry mouth, diarrhea, pruritus which is the redness and inflammation, rash, Muscle spasm, gall disturbance, asthenia, which is the weakness of the body, fatigue, which is the stress out of the body, irritability, feeling drunk, fall, skin laceration, which is the wound on the skin, contusions. Now here are the uncommon side effects which occur in 1 in 100 people. Arterioventricular block, bradycardia, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, liver function abnormal and hepatic enzyme increase. So this can be caused an angioedema, syncope a granulocytosis and conversion. So now we also discuss its warning and precautions. As I have already told you the dangerous side effects, here these are again highlighted as suicidal behavior and ideation. Like all other anti-epileptic drugs, it can also cause this uh, feelings of suicide which is very dangerous and need to be monitored. And also cardiac rhythm and conduction abnormalities which is very dangerous. Dizziness in ataxia. Dizziness and, dizziness and ataxia are very dangerous. But how? If someone is driving and he is having dizziness, he can have accident so dizziness is the cause of the accident that's why it is also dangerous okay it can also cause like other syncope which is very dangerous it is the sudden decrease in the blood pressure which can lead to also death and also drug reactions with eosinophilia systemic symptoms multi-organ hypersensitivity it can also cause potential for electroclinical worsening in specific pediatric epilepsy syndrome it can also cause withdrawal symptoms withdrawal symptoms are those side effects which are caused when we withdraw the drug therefore we always withdraw it gradually like if we have taken 50 mg tablet here we will gradually decrease it, like 40 20 10 5 mg and then we'll slowly stop it not suddenly because if we suddenly stop it it may worsen the condition for example it was being used to treat epilepsy it would worsen the condition of the patient and will again take it to zero so that's why we should be very careful about using it and that's why I always say you to consult your pharmacist for this because it's a medicine, it's not a candy or a toffee that you are just using it and enjoying. It's a medicine and you have to buy it from a pharmacy, not from a general store. So it's quite clear for you to see that why it is being sold on the other uh, area in the pharmacy. Why not on general store? Because due to these side effects and this, 
That's why you have to consult your pharmacist also for this. You need a healthcare professional for it, a specialized person who can tell you about this medicine. So for more details about this medicine and all these side effects uses and contraindication and whether you should use it in pregnancy or not, for all the details you should consult your pharmacist for this. Okay? Oh yes, and another question that if we, if it has too much side effects like this, why we are using it? it so its answer is quite clear it treats epilepsy and sciatica pain very effectively and we don't have to take other medicines it is used in combination with other medicine but we don't have to use too much medicines for it it is enough for us to treat epilepsy and sciatica pain and its effectiveness is bigger and its benefits is bigger than its side effects that's why we are using and it's just simple if a medicine has more benefits than its side effects we use it so that's why we are using it and it's a very good medicine i hope you like the video and please subscribe to my channel i make videos for you and it requires a lot of hard work and video editing etc so for the, for this you should support me thank you so i hope you found this video informative please like it share it and subscribe to our channel and always remember your pharmacist dr abdurafe in your peers allah hafiz take care and pakistan zindabad